I just want to say thank you so much um, for all the support you've given Simba. Um, these last few years have been very challenging, um, as most of you know. Um, but with your support, we've been able to see God move in so many ways. Um, many of you know that we've been transitioning, focusing more on the families and the community of the children um, that we sponsor. Currently, we're sponsoring 340 children. Um, of those 340, 80 of them are in high school. 260 of those children are in elementary. Um, this tra transition um, has helped us grow um, and develop our holistic care model that we talk about um, for empowering these children um, to grow in the love of Jesus Christ and really helping remove any of these roadblocks or hindering factors um, from achieving who God has called them to be. Um, Simba has seen uh, when we go deeper with these families, you see a lot more brokenness, just like all of us um, are broken. Um, and we truly see that this brokenness is also impacting the children in so many areas of life. Um, so we've been growing and developing our five pillars, this holistic care model. Um, these five pillars consist of sponsorship, kingdom building, health and wellness, stewardship, and family strengthening. And I'm so excited uh, to share a few testimonies from a few of these areas in some ways that you guys can get involved. Um, so I just want to first start off with uh, the first testimony I want to share is about um, the story of Boaz. Uh, he's a father of one of our uh, sponsored children that we've been sponsoring for about five years. Her name is Judy. Um, the initial reason why we started sponsoring Judy uh, to go to school is because he was unable to um, pay for school fees and was not really in the picture. Um, he was uh, alcoholic for about third this the past 30 years, um, and so he wasn't providing for his family at all. Uh, he would often come home and, and beat his children and beat his wife, um, and so we decided. Uh, to sponsor Judy so that she continue to, to go to school um, and try and get out of that environment for a little bit. Um, and just within this last year, we've been able to really focus on this family um, through this new holistic care model uh, that we've been talking about um, and also many other families in the community in the same situation. Um, but Simba has been able to assign social workers now and a full-time pastor to work with the family uh, through spiritual care and counseling. And I am so overjoyed to tell you that this last year um, we've been able to con uh, conduct 700 um, home visits to our families and the social workers have been coming up with very specific care plans for these families. And I'm even more excited to share the testimony of Boaz. And it's only by the grace of God um, that he gave his life to the Lord this last year, uh, left alcohol, um, and joined the Simba Church that we have going over there. Um, and the family is just praising God because it's been a, a, a complete um, 180 for him. Um, and the mom and daughter have just explained how much um, the father is now just like loving and caring for the family um, and truly it's only by the love of Jesus Christ that this miracle could have happened um, he left you know drinking for 30 years and now is serving in the in, in our local church over there and so this is just one story of how families have been impacted um, we've been able to help five families currently um, through marriage counseling and, and get them reunited back together. Um, and a lot of men have left uh, drinking and alcoholism um, and have like uh, left that behind and joined the church. Um, and Boaz's family is growing stronger spiritually. Uh, and now we're working on uh, the family uh, with the social worker um, to bring economic growth 
um, and some s stability within the home uh, through our stewardship program. One of our most successful stewardship programs um, is our Raise One Give One Chicken Project. So Simba teaches families to raise chickens, grow them, sell them, and also sell the eggs. And this, I, I just can't um, really explain how this has exploded um, other than God just continuing to grow it through this whole pandemic and food shortage over there in Kenya. Um, but the Simba families have been able to increase their daily income by 130% um, through this empowerment program. And the families have been able to buy land, buy cows, buy medication, um, and other things uh, to help improve their everyday lives. Currently we have 37 uh, families that have gone through the training uh, to raise poultry, have been uh, doing that successfully. And with the program, they give back a certain percentage of the chickens so that we can continue to give those chickens out to other families that go through our program. So it's really self-sustaining. Uh, Simba is now expanding into vegetable gardens um, and teaching different farming techniques that will help um, families produce enough vegetables uh, for an, a full year for a family of six, uh, just with small a small piece of land. Um, and we're really just expanding more into this and teaching families what they can do with their land um, and how to best use it. Um, next, you know, our, our spiritual pillar called the Kingdom Building is also just been such a, a blessing. Again, having that full-time pastor that's been able to work with families. Um, we now have a church over there um, that holds church service every Sunday. And in the past four months, we've been able to grow from five um, members to now 28 members. Um, the pastor has been working with these families and starting um, small groups within the homes. And then the homes invite different neighbors to come to those small groups. Usually we have about 15 to 20 members that will attend um, the small Bible studies to study the Word of God. Um, the next uh, really is about our family strengthening pillar um, and I want to share a testimony that was just so powerful from that pillar. Um, so one of the testimonies that I'll, I'll just leave you with uh, is the story of this these two twins that were orphaned um, and they were living on the streets. Um, currently there's 250,000 Kenyan children that are living on the streets. Um, not all of them are completely orphaned. Some of them are, you know, uh, have their parents missing. Some of them have fled because of abuse within the home. Um, but there are, you know, roughly around 250,000 children on the streets, living on the streets. Um, and it can be a very dangerous place and they can get addicted to different substances on the streets there. Um, so we've been working with a local rescue center that rescues some of the children off the streets. Um, and then through our family strengthening program, we try and reintegrate the children from the home, from these orphanages, back into a home setting, back into to family, uh, a family setting. Um, so our this last, these two kids, um, our social worker has been working for the last three and a half years to try and fan, find these family members, trace them, and get the families ready and the children ready to reintegrate them back into the home setting. And we just thank God this last year, uh, we've been able to do that. These two orphans were able to be reintegrated back with a grandma and an aunt. Um, unfortunately, their parents are gone, but we got them back into the home setting. And the grandma and aunt were actually looking for these two children. Uh, so it's only by you know God that that was able to come together. Uh, and God was through every step of that process. Um, so we just praise him for that. And uh, we're just continuing to work in our family strengthening project to reintegrate children off the streets and, and get them back home in the family setting um, and out of orphanages and trying to find their families as well. Um, so again, just through all these programs, um, we're seeing people's lives changed um, through the love of Jesus Christ. Uh, we're seeing his love being spread uh, throughout the community 
and him touching those who have been forgotten in society. We've seen the love of Jesus Christ shine through each one of these pillars in different ways and we're hearing these testimonies of his faithfulness and of his goodness. Um, and through the challenges of these last few years, God has still been on his throne and he's still been faithful. Um, through the challenges, uh, God has just been so evident um, and he's just shown up time and time again. And we've seen him in this process and we can't praise him enough. Um, I can't thank you guys enough as a church family for being a huge part of this journey. And honestly, we can't do this without you. We can't do this without your support. We can't do this without your financial support that the church has been giving to Simba um, over these years. Uh, we can't do this without your prayers. Um, and I, I just pray and I ask that you guys will continue to support us. We need your help. Um, we need you guys to help um, just for us to continue to expand these programs and this model throughout more communities in Kenya. Um, and some ways that you can uh, do that is just to continue to give to your local church. Continue to give um, because your local church has been helping us out. And uh, we just, we, we thank you so much. Another way that you guys can get involved is if you would like to sponsor a child. Um, there's a huge impact that ha that has on the family and on the child. Um, we assign each one of those families a social worker and work through those care plans with each family um, and really diving deeper with each one of those families. Um, another way that you can support is just support one of our programs uh, through monthly giving. Um, we really need help too um, in our church that we're starting up, that, that kingdom building pillar that I talked about um, and hiring more, more social workers uh, so that we can do more home visits. Um, and Im impact more families. Uh, lastly, I want to invite you guys on a mission trip. Um, so right now we would like to lead a VBS trip over in November. Currently we don't have a church partnership that um, would like to send members over there. Uh, so we're asking if your church would, would be a part of that uh, VBS group and go over there with us. Um, typically we see around 300 to 400 kids in our VBS. Um, and so we would just love as many volunteers to go on a mission trip with us. Um, so please uh, pray about coming on that trip. And again, thank you so much for all you've done. And thank you um, for being a church that wants to see the love of Jesus Christ spread throughout the whole world.